big changes are happening in the world of real estate. You might have heard already about the huge legal battle against National Association of Realtors, and it's about to shake up how commission work. Um, I have been holding off on talking about this because, well, everything was still up in the air. But here's the scoop. Starting August 17th, things are shifting. Commission compensation to buyer's agent won't be posted on our multiple listing service or MLS. And what does this mean? Well, the basics stay the same. Commission eventually come from the sales price. But now, sellers aren't required to commit to a compensation to a buyer's agent up front and buyer are left with some dilemmas. Let's dive into the options and see how they affect buyers and sellers. Option number one, it's sticking with the usual and offering upfront compensation to buyer's agent. This pretty much keep things the same. Buyers still get the help of a buyer's agent paid for by the seller. This could help keep costs down for the buyer and give them a little bit more wiggle room on the purchase price. This also opens the market for seller as buyer's purchase power is not limited. Option number two, seller can choose not to offer any buyer's agent compensation at all. If the buyer's agent wants to get paid, they'll have to work it out directly with the buyer. But here's the catch. With added commission costs to their down payment and cost to purchase, buying the same house could end up costing more for the buyers. Buyers may now have to negotiate for a lower purchase price, or they may be forced to consider another property that don't have the buyer's agent commission taken out. The seller did save some money, but the market become more limited and may have reflect that on the sales price. And then there's option number three. Sellers can skip upfront commitment and leave compensation up for negotiation. Buyer agent will basically present buyer's offer with a compensation request. Seller could still end up having to pay both commission, but at the expense of missing out some buyers. This creates a sticky situation for the buyers though. If two identical offer on the table at the same time for seller to choose, one is asking for a compensation, one is not, one of them becomes a little bit more appealing. So as you can see, every option has its pros and cons, and it's essential for buyers and sellers to carefully consider their situation and preference as best choices will differ by person. I mean, it is a complicated topic, and I would love to chat with you more about it. Should you have more questions, please give me a call, 909-610-5188, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.